Hello, and welcome to the 29th episode of LGBTQIA+, Heroes, Icons, Legends, and Events. This series of programs covers a wide variety of topics, such as entertainer Freddie Mercury, journalist and author Randy Schiltz, and social reformer Florence Nightingale. Pride Month is celebrated every June. LGBT Pride Day is celebrated on June 28th every year to commemorate the Stonewall Riots. Today we'll learn about the National LGBTQ Wall of Honor and the Stonewall National Monument. In the 17th episode of this series, we learned about the Rainbow Honor Walk in San Francisco's Castro neighborhood. The Rainbow Honor Walk is an educational memorial that contains bronze sidewalk plaques which honor LGBTQIA plus individuals who have made an impact on society. Much like that memorial, the National LGBTQ Wall of Honor is a monument devoted to, quote, honoring pioneers, trailblazers, and heroes. The National LGBTQ Wall of Honor is located in the Stonewall National Monument in the Stonewall Inn in New York City's Greenwich Village. The Stonewall National Monument is the first U.S. national monument devoted to LGBTQ trailblazers and heroes. The first 50 honorees were revealed in June 2019. They were chosen by a board of governors from the National LGBTQ Task Force and the International Imperial Courts of the USA, Canada, and Mexico. The board of governors for the National LGBTQ Wall of Honor include Stuart Milk, Harvey Milk's nephew and a co-founder of the Harvey Milk Foundation, actor and LGBTQ youth advocate Wilson Cruz, and LGBTQ activist Mandy Carter. The wall was dedicated and first displayed on June 27, 2019 as part of the Stonewall 50th Anniversary and World Pride NYC 2019 events. The speakers at the dedication of the wall included Judy and Dennis Shepard, the parents of murdered college student Matthew Shepard and the founders of the Matthew Shepard Foundation, Stuart Milk of the Harvey Milk Foundation, Queen Mother Nicole Murray Ramirez of the International Imperial Courts, and Kiara Johnson of the National LGBTQ Task Force. Let's meet the first 50 honorees. Wanda Alston was a political consultant who was active in the Democratic Party. She was an activist who organized national marches and events for feminist and LGBTQ causes. Artist Gilbert Baker was a veteran of the U.S. Army and a political activist. At the request of his friend Harvey Milk, he created the rainbow flag as a symbol of LGBTQ pride and allowed the flag to remain in the public domain so that it can be used freely worldwide. James Baldwin was a novelist, playwright, and activist who campaigned for civil rights. His writing explored sexual and racial topics. University professor Melvin Boozer was active in the Democratic and Socialist parties. In 1980, he was the first openly gay person ever nominated for the office of Vice President of the United States. He was also an advocate for African American rights, gay rights, and AIDS issues. Michael Callan was a singer-songwriter, composer, and author. After being diagnosed with AIDS in 1982, he became an influential activist. Along with his doctors, he wrote pamphlets and news articles to raise awareness about the correlation between AIDS and risky sexual behavior. Stormy DeLarbery was a drag king and activist. She is credited with starting the 1969 Stonewall Inn Uprising. She was called the Rosa Parks of the gay community and was an icon of the gay rights movement. Internationally known lawyer, educator, and activist Paula Edelbrick led the National Center for Lesbian Rights, the National Gay and Lesbian Task Force, and the Stonewall Community Foundation. Leslie Feinberg was a transgender lesbian author and activist whose work provided a foundation for gender studies and set the standard for terminology of gender identity. Activist Barbara Giddings was a founding member of the Daughters of Belitis. She organized the Gay Caucus of the American Library Association and lobbied the American Psychiatric Association to remove homosexuality from the list of mental illnesses. Keith Haring was an American artist and political activist. His pop art was a celebration of the graffiti art culture of the 1980s. He addressed social and political issues such as homosexuality and AIDS, and he used his art to advocate for safe sex and AIDS awareness. E. Lynn Harris was an openly gay black author known for his representation of closeted black men. 
He wrote 10 consecutive popular books that were on the New York Times bestseller list. Writer and cultural icon Harry Hayes' work defined the term LGBTQ as a cultural identity. In 1950, he founded the Mattachine Society, the first LGBTQ rights organization in the United States. Diana Hemingway was a genderqueer artist and activist who campaigned for trans and queer issues and the rights of sex workers. She fought to end racism and create economic justice. The works of openly gay poet, author, and activist Essex Hemphill addressed issues in the black and gay communities. He was also known for his contributions to the art scene in Washington, D.C. Brenda Howard is known as the mother of pride. She coordinated the first Christopher Street Liberation Day March in 1970 and developed the idea for the week-long series of Pride events. One of the first openly gay residents of Anchorage, Alaska, C. Wayne Hussey was a drag queen and activist who founded the Alaska Imperial Court System. Marsha P. Johnson was a black artist, activist, and drag queen who advocated for AIDS awareness and gay rights. Marsha was the co-founder of Street Transvestite Action Revolutionaries, or STAR. Bisexual black poet, teacher, and activist June Jordan addressed issues of race, gender, immigration, and representation. She championed black English, or Ebonics, and was an influence on feminist and gender studies. Christine Jorgensen was a trans woman and the first person to become famous for having sex reassignment surgery. She used her celebrity to advocate for transgender people. American activist Frank Kameny was one of the most significant figures in the gay rights movement. He was fired from his job in the Army MAP service for being gay and was the first person to file a civil rights lawsuit to appeal his termination. Alfred Kinsey was a bisexual scientist and sexologist who founded the Kinsey Institute for Research in Sex, Gender, and Reproduction. His research caused worldwide controversy in regards to female sexuality, homosexuality, and bisexuality. Kiyoshi Kuramiya was born in a Japanese internment camp during World War II. He was an activist for civil rights, anti-war protest, gay rights, and AIDS awareness. He was a personal assistant to Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. He also advocated for the legalization of marijuana for medical purposes. Trans woman Crystal Labeja was a drag queen who founded the House of Labeja in 1977 to address systemic racism in the drag culture. She was also a mother figure for homeless LGBTQ youth. Christopher Lee was a Chinese, Polish, American transgender activist and filmmaker. He co-founded the San Francisco Transgender Film Festival, also known as Tranny Fest, the first transgender film and arts festival in the world. His misgendered death certificate led to the 2014 Respect After Death Act in California. Audre Lorde was a writer, librarian, and civil rights activist. Her writing deals with issues of civil rights, lesbianism and feminism, and black female identity. School teacher Jean Sobelson Manford was an LGBT activist. The mother of a gay son, she marched in the 1972 New York City Pride March in support of gay children. She co-founded the organization PFLAG, or Parents, Families, and Friends of Lesbians and Gays, and was awarded the 2012 Presidential Citizens Medal. Del Martin was a feminist and LGBTQ rights activist. She founded the Daughters of Belitis with her wife Phyllis Lyon. They were the first couple married in the San Francisco same-sex weddings in 2004. They married again in 2008 after the California Supreme Court legalized same-sex marriage. Vietnam veteran Technical Sergeant Leonard Philip Matlevich outed himself to fight the ban on gays in the armed forces. He appeared on the September 8, 1975 cover of Time magazine and was the first openly gay person to appear on the cover of a U.S. news magazine. Harvey Milk was a politician and activist and the first openly gay elected official in California history. He was assassinated on November 27, 1978, along with San Francisco Mayor George Muscone. A gay icon and martyr, Harvey was posthumously awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2009. 
American LGBT activist and public relations executive Jeffrey Montgomery co-founded the Triangle Foundation, now known as Equality Michigan, to advocate for LGBT victims of violence. Pat Parker was a feminist activist and poet. Her poetry addressed issues facing lesbians and black women. She was involved with the Black Panthers and founded the Women's Press Collective. Photographer, businessman, and activist Chuck Renslow was known as a trailblazer in homoerotic photography and for his contributions to the leather culture. He opened the Gold Coast Bar, the world's first gay leather bar, in 1958. Adrian Rich was a radical feminist poet. In 1997, she famously declined the National Medal of Arts in protest of House Speaker Newt Gingrich's attempt to defund the National Endowment for the Arts. Self-identified gay transvestite, drag queen, and trans woman Sylvia Rivera was active in the fight for gay rights and transgender rights. She was a member of the Gay Liberation Front in New York City. Along with Marsha P. Johnson, she co-founded Street Transvestite Action Revolutionaries, or STAR. Craig Rodwell was an activist who founded the Oscar Wilde Memorial Bookshop, the first bookstore dedicated to gay and lesbian authors in November 1967. He was also a founding member for New York City Pride. Author, activist, and educator Eric Roves was a director of the Los Angeles Gay and Lesbian Center and served on the board of the National Gay and Lesbian Task Force. Vito Russo was an LGBT activist, author, and film historian. He co-founded GLAD, the Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation, an organization which advocates for LGBTQ inclusion in modern culture and society. African-American civil rights activist Bayard Rustin was an important advisor to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and the organizer of the Freedom Rides and the 1963 March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom. He was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2013 by President Barack Obama. Jose Sario was a community organizer and activist. In 1961, he was the first openly gay candidate for public office in the United States. Known as the Absolute Empress the First de San Francisco, he was famous for his drag performances at the Black Cat Bar in San Francisco. College student Matthew Shepard was robbed, beaten, and left to die by two men who targeted him for his sexuality. His murder drew international attention to hate crimes against LGBTQ people. Matthew's parents founded the Matthew Shepard Foundation to raise awareness of hate crimes. Randy Schultz was a journalist and author and the first openly gay reporter in the American mainstream press. He wrote three books which brought attention to issues in the gay community and showcased his talent for investigative reporting. Political activist Barbara Sipperstein came out as a trans woman in the late 1980s. Active in Democratic Party organizations and an advocate for gender inclusion and hate crime and discrimination legislation, she was the first openly transgender member of the Democratic National Committee. Lou Sullivan was an author and activist who was the first trans man to publicly identify as gay. He was largely responsible for the modern interpretation of gender identity and sexual orientation as unrelated concepts. Educator and LGBT youth outreach advocate Virginia Uribe founded Project 10, an educational support and dropout prevention program in Los Angeles. Bruce Bowler was a gay rights activist and biologist who specialized in AIDS research. In 1973, he co-founded the National Gay Task Force, now renamed the National LGBTQ Task Force. He coined the term Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome, or AIDS. Patricia Nell Warren was a novelist, poet, and journalist. Her second novel, The Front Runner, published in 1974, was the first work of gay fiction to make the New York Times bestseller list. Activist Janet Weinberg advocated for people with disabilities and social service organizations, including the gay men's health crisis. Edith Edie Windsor was a technology manager at IBM. She was the lead plaintiff in the U.S. Supreme Court case, United States v. Windsor. The case overturned Section 3 in the Defense of Marriage Act, which led federal agencies to extend rights and benefits to same-sex partners. 
U.S. Air Force veteran and motorcycle enthusiast Sonny Wolf co-founded Dykes on Bikes at the 1976 San Francisco Pride Parade and rode with the group until her death in 2018. Dykes on Bikes was a powerful symbol of LGBT pride. Sonny won a lawsuit against the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office to trademark the name. Pedro Zamora was an openly gay educator and television personality. He starred on the reality series The Real World San Francisco as one of the first openly gay and HIV positive men to be portrayed in modern culture. His romance with Sean Sasser and their subsequent exchange of vows was the first same-sex ceremony shown on television. Each year, more names are added to the wall. Let's meet the 2020 honorees. Lorena Borjas was a Mexican-American trans woman and immigration rights activist known as the mother of the Latin transgender community in New York. Larry Kramer was an American playwright, author, and public health advocate. He co-founded the Gay Men's Health Crisis and the AIDS Coalition to Unleash Power, or ACT UP. He is best known for the play The Normal Heart. Phyllis Lyon was a feminist and LGBTQ rights activist. She co-founded the Daughters of Belitis with her wife, Del Martin. Sean Sasser was an American educator and reality TV show personality. He starred on the reality series, The Real World, San Francisco with Pedro Zamora. Amy Stevens was an American funeral director who was fired for being transgender. Her landmark court case caused the U.S. Supreme Court to rule that the 1964 Civil Rights Act protects gay, lesbian, and transgender employees from discrimination. In 2021, these honorees were added. Ivy Bettini was an artist who came out in 1968 after divorcing her husband. She was a co-founder of the New York branch of the National Organization for Women, or NOW, for which she designed the logo in 1969. Ruth Ellis was an African-American activist. Widely known as the oldest out lesbian, she died at age 101 in 2000. The Ruth Ellis Center in Detroit is dedicated to serving the needs of at-risk LGBT youth. Jimmy Pisano was a businessman who bought the original Stonewall Inn building and reopened it as Stonewall in 1990. The bar never made money, but it stayed open until his death in 1994 from AIDS-related illness. Monica Roberts was an African-American trans woman who was well known as a writer, blogger, and transgender rights activist. She was the founder of Transgriot, a blog about issues faced by trans African-Americans and other women of color. Carmen Vasquez was an American activist of Puerto Rican descent. She advocated for immigrant rights and health issues faced by LGBTQ people. In 2022, these names were added. Dolores Alexander was a feminist author and journalist. She became the first executive director of the National Organization for Women in 1969, but resigned due to lesbophobia in the organization. She founded the feminist restaurant Mother Courage. Tyler Clementi was an 18-year-old college student at Rutgers University. He died by suicide after being cyberbullied by his roommate and other students. His death brought national attention to the issue of cyberbullying and the struggles faced by LGBTQ youth. James Hormel was the U.S. Ambassador to Luxembourg during the Clinton administration and was the first openly gay man to hold the post. He was a philanthropist who helped found the Human Rights Campaign and served on the board of the Foundation for AIDS Research, or AMFAR. Stephen Sondheim was an award-winning American composer and lyricist. He is considered to be one of the most influential figures in 20th century musical theater. Some of his most famous works are A Little Night Music, Into the Woods, Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber of Fleet Street, and West Side Story. Urvashi Vade was an Indian-born American writer, lawyer, and LGBT rights activist. She founded LPAC, the first lesbian super PAC. The 2023 honorees were inducted in a ceremony on June 22nd. This year, seven people have been honored. Gloria Allen was a black trans woman who ran a charm school for transgender youth in Chicago. She inspired the hit play Charm by Philip Dawkins. Darcel 15 was an American drag queen and cabaret owner in Portland, Oregon. 
His career as an entertainer spanned 56 years and he was certified as the oldest performing drag queen. Born Stefan Grigalko, Piclina was an American actor, drag queen, and entrepreneur. Beloved American actor, comedian, and writer Leslie Jordan was famous for his roles on TV shows including Will and Grace and American Horror Story. During the COVID-19 pandemic, he amassed 5.8 million followers on Instagram with his comedic posts. Along with his partner Charles Leslie, J. Frederick Fritz Lohmann founded the Leslie Lohmann Museum of Art, which displayed the artworks of LGBT artists at a time when this artwork was considered controversial. Playwright and screenwriter Terence McNally has been described as, quote, the bard of American theater. He was the recipient of five Tony Awards, including Best Play for Love, Valor, Compassion, Best Book for a Musical for Kiss of the Spider Woman, and the 2019 Tony Award for Lifetime Achievement. Achebe Betty Powell was the first black lesbian to serve on the board of directors of the National Gay Task Force, later renamed the National LGBTQ Task Force. She was also one of the first black women to have a leadership role in the LGBTQ plus rights movement. To know more about the National LGBTQ Wall of Honor, visit the website, thetaskforce.org slash National LGBTQ Wall of Honor. To know more about the Stonewall National Monument, visit the website, nps.gov. To know more about pride and LGBTQ topics, go to our website, gwinnettpl.org, to check out the following suggested items. A Queer History of the United States for Young People by Michael Bronsky. Pride, an Inspirational History of the LGBTQ Plus Movement by Stella Caldwell. Pride, the LGBTQ Plus Rights Movement, a Photographic Journey by Christopher Meesom. The Stonewall Reader. We Are Everywhere, Protest, Power, and Pride in the History of Queer Liberation by Matthew Reamer and Leighton Brown. What Was Stonewall? by Nico Medina. Also, visit our website's digital resources to discover Canopy, our streaming service. Canopy has a wide selection of films and documentaries about LGBTQIA topics. Thank you for watching.